So, I know I have been very annoying about it the past few days, but believe me, even though the guy that I'm playing in fantasy hockey this week has Slavkovsky and Suzuki on his team, this week is a lost cause I'm going to lose. It's guaranteed I'm going to lose. There's no way I come back from the deficit that I have been thrusted into. So, I don't care. Slavkovsky and Suzuki, go ahead and score as many points as you want, especially in games like these. This was a perfect game once again for Team Tank and the Montreal Canadiens, and I gotta get through this video quick because the Vancouver Canucks and Winnipeg Jets, it's on on Sportsnet. The game is gonna start just in a few minutes here, but I wanted to make a post-game video about Montreal and Washington because this was yet another fantastic game. And some Canadians fans may feel a little ticked off at that. Wait a minute, they lost. They didn't get any points. It's a regulation. L, why are you saying that's great? That's why it was great. Because there were no points. And we had some great performances out of these young halves. Starting it out with the 1-1 goal. Arbor Jacai gets the puck fed to him from one Joshua Waugh. And Jacai just hammers it on goal. Beating the goaltender from long range. That's what you like to see out of a young, budding NHL defenseman. Second goal on the season for Jacai. He's had his ups and downs. This is the confidence booster that he needs to really get back on track. Skipping over some of the other goals here, Anthony Mantha, Washington goal, TJ Oshie, power play goal. Good for me because I have Oshie on my fantasy team, but then again, I don't really care anymore this week because I'm going to lose. Second period, we had ourselves Alex Newhook scoring somewhat of a fluky goal. The puck takes a few bounces here and there, and Newhook pounces onto it, walks right in, and fires it over the goaltender's shoulder. So good to see Newhook getting on the board as well. He needs that confidence boost ever since coming back into the Canadiens lineup. And then, in the third period, things got exciting. Sonny Mulatto made it 3-2, Nick Suzuki made it 3-3, and then Alexi Protoss, with about eight minutes to go in the game, made it 4-3. But this Nick Suzuki goal, man, oh my goodness. I don't have the clip available to play just because it's copyrighted material, but what I can show you is pretty much everything else. I mean, there were a really solid amount of passes the Canadians were doing. You had the guy on the point over to the guy on the right corner in front, tipped off the guy in the middle, and then Nick Suzuki is right there who takes the shot and he goes far side. And after Suzuki scores the goal, it is Cole Caulfield who celebrates himself and he does the little fist pump on the ice. Cole Caulfield celebrates as if he was the one who scored the goal. What a fantastic showmanship of camaraderie and just overall good vibes. Caulfield's reaction, Mark Dumont, goes out there and says, yeah, baby, that's exactly what makes this clip fun. Aside from, of course, the beautiful power play goal. Yeah, normally I'd be pissed off about that because Suzuki getting a power play goal is very damning for my fantasy team, especially since Slavkovsky got the assist, but who cares? And then, of course, the Alexi Protoss goal at the end. Nick Dowd had himself an assist plus Anthony Mantha, so good on Dowd, actually. He's been very good, surprisingly so. Maybe only surprising to a lot of Canucks fans, but for Washington fans, hey, he's been fantastic. So... This game was honestly yet another perfect one. Hattie K had a great summary. 4-3 loss, no pity point. Slavkovsky and Waugh are playing great games. Caden Gooley and Jaden Strubel are continuing their progress. And Suzuki and Caulfield are continuing to dominate. Elite tank night for the Montreal Canadiens. And to combat and defend this perspective, you have Hattie saying, Yeah, I like wins. Wins are fun. You know what else is also fun? Good losses in a tank year, and this was as good of a loss as it gets. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean, towards the end of the game, the Canadians were pressing, they had the empty net, they were trying to tie things up, make it 4-4, get to overtime, and when they didn't, you saw Yuri Slavkovsky at the end of the game smashing his stick in anger on the boards. This kid absolutely hates to lose, and that is some great, great spirit. You would rather have your young, budding prospects who are extremely talented showcasing this level of frustration at a loss that's honestly like, you know, you could say this loss is pretty meaningless. 
I think that's a fair assessment to make this season as a whole in terms of the Canadians winning the Stanley Cup. It's pretty meaningless because you know they're not going to do that. They're not going to make the playoffs either. But as we had talked about in the last tanking video, the Montreal Canadiens putting themselves in this spot, losing out on games, but providing an entertaining product despite that, that ultimately is the best case scenario here. Losses in regulation, higher draft standing for Macklin Celebrini, and points from a lot of your young guys. Arbor Jacai with the goal, Josh Waugh with the beautiful assist, and then of course you have Suzuki, Caulfield, and Slavkovsky doing their thing. Montreal is now 26 in the NHL. If we go over to Tankathon, can we see that? Tanner Pearson? Nope, not Tanner Pearson. I want to go to Tankathon, different T-A-N. Yeah, I know. It's kind of funny how that went there. But Montreal now has the seventh best odds. I don't know if this is actually up to date as to right now, but we'll just assume it is. Montreal has some of the best odds at getting Macklin Celebrini at this point, and this really is one of the better years, I would say, to end up tanking because even if the Canadians just win like the second overall lottery or something and they get a Cole Iserman, for example, having Cole Caulfield and Cole Iserman would be fantastic. And just seeing the potential of the Canadians faltering down the standings even more, a result like this, this game against the Washington Capitals makes it all better to bear, especially when you look at the highlights and you see all these guys getting back up there on the board. So for Yuri Slavkovsky, man, he's the guy that everybody's talking about. He's the main attraction, I would say, on this Canadiens team because he's really starting to bode well into what he could become, and he's only 19. This is all the stuff we were talking about and more in these videos, debating whether or not he's like a bust, or he's this, or he's that. I mean, we made the video earlier today talking about how the Canadians should try to sign Slavkovsky to an eight-year extension, but the one from yesterday, hey, this one popped up. Everybody was talking about this on social media. This is more of a conversation of hope than it is a conversation of desperation and depression because losses like these are good for the Montreal Canadiens. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How did you think about the Canadiens' playoff against the Washington Capitals? I'm not going to lie. I personally had this game on in the background while I was doing other things. So I did catch a glimpse of what was going on once in a while and I did see all the goals, but I wasn't really paying too much attention. I just thought it'd be a great video to go out there and acknowledge the perfect result on paper, how all the guys that you wanted to see get points and score goals and put themselves up on the board, they did that. And for goaltenders, I mean, Jake Allen was okay. Hey, he had another game where he lost. That's pretty good. He hasn't had a regulation win in a very long time. So for Jake Allen, I mean, the L's, they don't stop coming. Beg to the room while they hit the ground running. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Canadians and the Capitals. I got to get back to watching the Canucks and the Jets, man. I hope you enjoyed this British Rolls 99. And bye.